Okay, now that Cubby has given us the all clear, it's time for Uncle Sam to practice his English speech contest. So please welcome Isaac going to the stage with a warm round of applause, please. Gina's giving you a warm round of applause and now make a wing. Hi. Hi there. I'm Sam. I'm assuming since you are listening to this speech that you are new to hear a story. Well, you're in luck because I have a story for you. It's a story about this fine country of ours, the good old U.S. of A. I bet you thought you heard them all, but not many people know this one. I know that you're all anxious to help me tell it, but that part is my job. Now get back in your places, everyone. We're about to start the story. Let's give the states a couple of seconds to get back into position. 1001, 1002, 1003. Here we go. Well, it was just your basic, ordinary day in the good old U.S. of A. States all over the country were getting up, having their first cups of coffee, reading the morning paper, and enjoying the beautiful summer. Illinois was getting ready to go out for a run. He sang, Chicago, Chicago, you're not gonna tell me. Wisconsin, Michigan, was, was taking a shower. He sang, sing me in the bathtub, la la la.
guess I feel giddy. What a grand idea. How exciting. We should have done this years ago. Makes me want to dance. They could hardly wait. Immediately, the states began making plans to switch places. They said their goodbyes and went directly home and packed. morning for all the states to move into their new spots. But finally, The states were much happier now that they were in a new part of the country and by the new neighbors. Oh yes, this, this was a much better arrangement. But after a couple of days had gone by and the excitement had died down, the states began to realize they weren't as happy as they thought. Florida, who had switched places with Minnesota, was freezing in the frosty northern climate. And Minnesota forgot to buy sunscreen, lining all her shardy room. New York, Alabama, and Indiana, all of them had to go to California's place to bother by annoying rumbling sound that kept them up all night. Arizona, who had switched places with South Carolina, was upset because the ocean waves kept ruining her hair. Michigan's thumb tickling his right side and O'Connor's handle jabbing to his left. Oh, Oklahoma, where the wind comes swooping down the plain, Oklahoma. And worst of all, Kansas, who had switched places with Hawaii because he was sick of being stuck in the middle of nowhere. Sick of being stuck in the middle of the country. Who was now stuck in the middle of nowhere. Then lungs can seasick. In the middle of nowhere, I feel rosy and seasick. My guitar is sub again, I feel so blue. And Hawaii was longing for some peace and quiet like in the good old days. But there was no question in any state's mind about what to do. Everyone wanted to go home. So even faster than they made their first trip, the states packed their bags and hit the road. Oh, yes, hello. Um, my name is Illinois, and I need an airline ticket to, um, well, Illinois. Um, uh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As the sun set across the country, all of the states from A to W were back in their very own homes. to see their old friends again. They spent the entire evening sharing their experiences with each other. The good and the bad. That night, all of the states went to bed feeling happy about the new friends they had made. Most of all, feeling very thankful to be home. Thank you very much. To be home. home. With two arms. Now to be home.